y equals 2 cot x minus pi on 4. So it's going to have a vertical dilation of 2. It's not really an amplitude. Tan and cot don't have amplitude. There's no horizontal dilation, so the period is pi. There is a horizontal shift. Do you remember which direction? So vertical dilation times 2 and a horizontal shift of pi on 4 to the right. It's to the right. The value of my function will be the value it normally would be at x minus pi on 4. So I'm fetching an x further left for the value of my function here. So I've actually shifted the function to the right. Let me try drawing this. So I'm going to draw a couple of extra graphs along the way to help me get the right graph. You don't have to do this. Um, I just want to show you how to get there step by step if you need to. If you can go straight to cot, go straight to cot. It's not a problem. But if you're having trouble, let's do it like this. The normal tan graph comes up at 0, has value 1 at pi on 4, and then goes up to an asymptote at pi on 2. Comes up here, value 1 there, and then value 1 there, going up here. Then coming back up at the bottom again, value 1 there, and going through 2 pi. Now, I'm shifting it to the right by pi on 4. So that means I'm actually coming up here, going here, up to an asymptote there. Here, value 1 through 0, and going up, sorry, not quite right, I need an eraser. Through zero, value one, going up there. There, value one, and so on. That would be tan shifted right. So how do I get to cot? Well, where tan is zero, cot is undefined. So that helps me find some asymptotes. There's one, and there's another. I have asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, at x equals pi on 4 and 5 pi on 4. So that's 4n plus 1 pi on 4 for integers n. OK, those are my asymptotes. What else do I know? I know that where the tan graph had asymptotes, my graph is 0. So that's here and here. Where tan is uh, undefined, cot is 0. I actually now know almost enough. I just have to remember that dilation is 2. So where cot x minus pi on 4 would have gone through the original tan graph at 1, it's now going to be at 2. Where it would normally have been at 1, it's now going to be at 2, because it's dilated by a factor of 2. Where it would have been at 1, it's now at 2. Where it would have been at 1, it's now at 2. And that should be enough for me to sketch in my cot. And actually I need to put in just a little bit more. I need to finish this 
over here. It's coming from two, like that. So I've labelled my asymptotes. I also need to label this point was um, 0, negative 2, the y-intercept. And it crosses here at 3 pi on 4. And again, that's 6, that's, so that's 7 pi on 4. Those are the x-intercepts.